If you search the internet how to update the firmware of an ESP01, you will find a whole jungle of binary files and flash tools. In this video I will show you the most straightforward method I found and some things I learned during my journey through the ESP01 firmware jungle. This tutorial is also useful for other ESP8266 boards. Let me first show you how you can update the firmware. You will need three things. An ESP01 programmer. I will use the programmer described in my previous video. I will leave a link in the description. You will need the ESP flash tool, a tool from Espressif to flash ESP8266 and ESP32 boards. And you need the bootloader bin file. For the flash tool and the bin file, please go to the Citron Technologies GitHub. I will leave a link in the description. This is the bin file you will need. You can download it by clicking on the file and download the raw file or you can download the zip file and get the file from there. For the ESP flash tool, please scroll down, click on this link and at the Espressive site download the flash download tools. This is a zip file, you will need to unzip it. Here I have the ESP flash tool and the bin file in one folder. I already unzipped the flash download tool. Open a flash download exe file. You see a DOS box and the window opening. Select ESP8266, develop and press OK. Now click on the three little dots and browse to the bin file you downloaded. Open. Check the box and enter 0, X and 4 zeros. Click on the COM. I have four ports here. Plug in your programmer with the ESP01 and check again. Now there's an extra COM port, COM6. That is my ESP. Press start. The ESP01 is being flashed. This will take some time. OK, finished. Now close the flash tool and unplug the ESP01 programmer. To verify the update, Plug the ESP programmer with the ESP01 back in the USB and open the Arduino IDE. Then open the serial monitor at 115,200 baud. Select here both new line and carriage return. Now type AT. OK. To check the version number type AT plus. GMR. Here you see the bin version of the firmware 2.2.0 from Cytron. The firmware you just flashed includes two things the bootloader and the AT firmware. If you want, you can use the AT firmware's AT commands to use the ESP01 as a Wi Fi module with another Arduino board. You can find more information about AT commands online. Note that if you upload any code, the bootloader will still be there, but the AT firmware will be erased. So the AT GMR command will not work anymore. So the update was successful. Now I found 
that if you completely erase the flash, you can still upload code to the ESP01. So how is that possible? Well, the Arduino IDE has bootloader bin files in the ESP8266 installation packages. If it detects any issues during the upload, it will flash a new bin file and you will not notice it. So this is different from Arduino boards like the Nano or Uno, which will not upload without a bootloader. So is it useful to update the bootloader? Well, the V2.2 firmware is the latest and will have bug fixes compared to the older versions. If anyone finds a way to check the bootloader version without AT commands, please let me know in the comments. I hope this video was useful for you. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave your experiences and tips in the comments.